Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you all are doing fine. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the maxillary nerve block. Now this video is very important because we need to understand what all areas are numbed by the nerve block so that we can work on a specific set of teeth. Also, if you are new to this channel, welcome to Dr. Teeth. I am Dr. Hina and I create dental videos with an intention to help you all dental students. Please do consider subscribing and let's get started with today's video. The first nerve block that we are going to talk about is the infraorbital nerve block, also called as the anterior superior alveolar nerve block. So as you can see here, when we give this block the entire anterior teeth up to the mesiobuccal root of the first molar is anesthetized. In addition, it also includes the buccal periodontium and the associated structures. So it includes the pulp of the maxillary central incisor and the canine. Then pulps of the maxillary premolars and mesobuccal root of the first molar. Now the mesobuccal root of the first molar is anesthetized in 72% patients only. Overlying buccal periodontium and bone. In addition, we also have the lower eyelid, lateral aspect of the nose, upper lip that is anesthetized. For example, if we injected this side, then the lower eyelid the lateral aspect of the nose and also the upper lip will be anesthetized. Then the second nerve block is the posterior superior alveolar nerve block that is the PSA nerve block. So as you can see it includes all the molars except the mesobuccal root of the first molar and the overlying structures also like the buccal periodontium, mucous membrane etc. So Pulps of the maxillary third, second, and the first molar, and the mesobuccal root of the maxillary first molar. It is not anesthetized in twenty-eight percent of the PSA nerve block. Then we have the buccal periodontium and the bone overlying these teeth here. So let us suppose you have to extract the maxillary first molar. What all nerve blocks will you give? Obviously, we will give the PSA nerve block okay in addition we have to give a palatal nerve block we will see that in the upcoming sections that will be the greater palatine nerve block because it blocks this area as well but what about this mesiobuccal root it is not anesthetized by the PSA nerve block in 28 percent of the cases so in that we have to give a nerve block that includes this portion as well right so, you can give a infraorbital nerve block, but the infraorbital nerve block numbs all these areas. It also numbs the lower eyelid, side of the nose, upper lip, as we have seen, right? So, we have one more nerve block that we can give. Let's see. That is the middle superior alveolar nerve block. So, it anesthetizes the premolars as well as the mesobuccal root of the first molar and the associated structures. Then buccal periodontal tissues and bone overlying these teeth. So for extracting the first molar, you can give PSA nerve block, MSA nerve block as well as a greater palatine that is the GP nerve block. Then we have the greater palatine nerve block. That is the GP. So as you can see here from the midline anteriorly till the premolar and posteriorly till the molar, last molar. It is covering the entire area. Okay, so it includes the bone also, it includes the soft tissues also. So the posterior hard palate and its overlying soft tissues anteriorly as far as the first premolar here and medially to the midline. Okay, that is the greater palatine nerve block. Then we have the nasopalatine nerve block, that is the NP. 
effects as you can see here it anesthetizes the anterior portion of the heart palate from the mesial aspect of the first premolar to the mesial aspect of the first premolar that means bilaterally so anterior portion of the heart palate soft and hard tissues from the mesial aspect of the right first premolar to the mesial aspect of the left first premolar that is bilateral so for example if you have to extract this canine which blocks will you give we will give the nasopalatine nerve block and also the infraorbital nerve block the next one is the anterior middle superior alveolar nerve block that is the amsa so as you can see here it is anesthetizing the entire palatal as well as the buccal aspect of the anterior teeth so pulpal anesthesia of the maxillary incisors canines and premolars buccal attached gingiva of the above teeth this portion attached palatal tissue from the midline to the free gingival margin of the associated teeth then we have the maxillary nerve block which will anesthetize the entire quadrant on the injected side as you can see here we have the pulpal anesthesia of the maxillary teeth of the injected quadrant all the way from the incisors to the molars then buccal periodontium and bone overlying these teeth here soft tissues and bone of the hard palate and part of the soft palate medial to the midline so we have the palate covered it covers the hard and the soft palate as well medial to the midline in addition we have the skin of the lower eyelid side of the nose cheek and the upper lip like we had in the infraorbital nerve block let's have a quick summary we talked about the infraorbital nerve block which covered the incisors up to the mesobuccal root of the first molar then we have the psa nerve block as the name suggests it is the posterior superior alveolar so it anesthetizes the posterior region except the mesobuccal root we also talked about if we have to extract this teeth we'll have to give a combination of these two block or we'll have to give the middle superior alveolar nerve block then we talked about the palatal nerve block which is the nasopalatine nerve block and the greater palatine nerve block then we have the anterior middle superior alveolar nerve block which numbs the anterior teeth the premolars and the associated palatal and the buccal surface then we have the maxillary nerve block which includes the maximum area the hard palate soft palate buccal surface all the teeth and also the lower eyelid side of the nose and the upper lip remember now very important you will find notes of this video in the description box below and also there are many other notes that i post on my instagram page so you can find me on instagram and connect with me also if you wish to support this channel you can join channel membership we have different levels and the channel members get access to exclusive videos you can cover your syllabus using our prime series which is uploaded on our website so do check out that as well and remember i have covered some of these nerve block in detail like the techniques indication contraindications in separate videos so you can go and check out that video i will leave links to those videos in the description box as well and if you want me to cover any of these blocks which i have not covered in detail just let me know and i will try my level best to help you all so i will see you in the next video take very good care of yourself allah hafiz